So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to prepare and fillet a round fish. First thing, when sourcing fish, it's very important to get a good relationship with your fish supplier. Um, always buy from sort of sustainable sources. Quality points to look for with the fish. You always want a nice sort of what they call a sea slime on it. The, firm, the flesh should be firm. The eyes should be nice and bulbous, not sunk. And the main telling point with fish is always look for the gills. The gills should be nice and bright red and not brown. Okay, the first step to scaling the fish, there's a number of ways you can do this. You can do it over a sink. My preferred way is with a pair of scissors, we need to take off the fins first of all. Once the fins are removed, the next step is to scale the fish. So using the back of a filleting knife, or you can also use a proper fish scaler, very gently holding the tail. Allow the scales to come up. Try not to be too heavy handed because you don't want to damage the actual skin. So same on both sides. Next step, ice cold water. We just gently rinse the fish to remove any extra scales and onto a clean chopping board. The next step, we're gonna gut the fish. So, on the belly of the fish, you go from the back end, just cutting the skin through until you've got an incision like that. Pull out from one side and then the intestines will be hanging and with the scissors nick them out. Now the next step is just under that gill you make an incision of 45 degrees to the head all the way down to the backbone. Same on the opposite side. just apply a slight amount of pressure. If you can see where the, the backbone is, just run your knife along there just to score the skin. So you're not cutting all the way through yet. We're just finding where we're gonna cut. So you're just above the bone there. Then with the knife, just down to the spine. Nice, smooth strokes. Then when you get to the spine, you just your knife is going over it like that. And then through. When you come to the rib cage, you take the scissors, nick through them, and there's your first fillet removed from the bone. Turn the fish over. On the second side, you go from the tail up. So we just cut across the tail there, and then again, same principle, small amount of pressure and up, down to the backbone. Scissors again through the rib cage. There's our two fillets. So again, clean the board. The next step is to trim the fillets. So to do this, Lay the fillet flat, and where the rib bones are, you put a knife under it, and then down. So you've created a flat with all the, the rib bones on it. Then, with, with a sharp knife again, trim the fillet around, so there's a natural shape to the fillet. Then we just nick off the end, We've got one perfect fillet there. Exactly the same on the opposite side. Again, nice natural line. 
There's our two fillets. The final part we need to do is to pin bone the fish. So the pin bones run right along that backbone where the ribs were. So for each rib, there's obviously one pin bone. So we're using the fish tweezers. Take them out one at a time. Very gently so as not to damage the flesh. A little tip for this, if you fillet your fish and leave the fillets to rest in the fridge for a few hours before pin boning, the flesh relaxes and they'll come out a little bit easier. And just run your finger over it to ensure they're all out. And that's it. There's our two fillets of red mullet.